Hello everyone, how are you? Hope you're doing well. This week, I have got Gusto to deliver me some meals. You might remember a little while ago, I did a HelloFresh meal plan for a week where HelloFresh send the meals to your house. Five meals, you get five meals for two people. Fresh ingredients. I did a video where I unboxed it. I gave you a review of each meal and just gave you a kind of feel of what the service is all about. Well, we enjoyed it so much that we're gonna go for another one this week and we're doing it with Gusto, which is a company that I know very little about for the next week. Myself and my wife are gonna be eating Gusto meals and I'm gonna let you know how it goes. And we're gonna start by unboxing the box which has just arrived, it did arrive two hours late and it was placed on the wrong doorstep. So not a great start for Gusto, but I'm willing to give them the benefit of the doubt. It is locked down, everyone's gone a bit crazy. So maybe the delivery driver just had a bad day, I don't know. But we're gonna unbox this and see what Gusto have got to offer. We already chose our meals online. It was pretty simple. We signed up on the website and we actually only ended up paying 17 pounds for four meals. They only do four meals rather than uh, HelloFresh doing five. That was with a discount code that gave me 50% off. So you can double that really if you didn't have the discount code. And like I say, that gave me the four meals for two people for 17 pounds, which is, you know, that is good. That is cheap, isn't it? How much is that per meal? That's like four pound 50 per meal-ish. I am just using a knife. <laughs> from our knife block, probably not the safest way to be doing this. But there we go, it's done. I didn't cut myself. So as you can see, they give you the meal cards just like HelloFresh do. Um, I'll show you now actually what we've ordered. So we have got one pot pulled chicken cacciadore with chia batter bread, creamy Cajun chicken and Romano linguine, 10 minute creamy haddock Fiorentine spaghetti, and we've also got this one, which is a 10 minute jeweled chicken, pistachio and cranberry pilaf, which looks a little bit like a paella type thing. Those are our four meals that we've got. On, much like HelloFresh on the meal card, you've got cooking times at the top, all of the ingredients on there, the nutritional information is down at the bottom. And then on the back, you've got the instructions on how to actually cook the meal. I'll get everything out. This is gonna be boring for you to watch. So we'll cut to a time lapse. And there we go, this is empty. This is everything that they sent me. Gotta say, just the initial first impression, what I liked about HelloFresh is they did package everything up in the individual brown bags for you. So you knew this is day one, this is day two. Gusto haven't done that. They have literally just slung everything in the box, which does make things a little bit more complicated when you come to cook your meal, because you have to, you know, look through everything and find the right ingredients for each day. HelloFresh did, you know, put them together for you. So that was a, a win for HelloFresh that this one doesn't have. Uh, so very very different so far from HelloFresh. Gusto on the packaging side and on certainly on the delivery side, not as good as HelloFresh. The important bit is the food itself, what it tastes like. So let's give it a try tomorrow. I'm gonna show you how all the meals are to cook and how they are to taste as well. Give you a little review of each one. And at the end of the week, I'll give you a summary of who was better, HelloFresh or Gusto. Let's cut to tomorrow. This is tomorrow's meal. So it's day one of us eating Gusto meals for a week and we're starting off with creamy haddock Fiorentine spaghetti. Recipe card here says that this one takes 10 minutes to cook. I think I can do it a little bit quicker than that. The question is, how quickly can I turn this into this? Let's find out, shall we? I told you I could do it quicker than 10 minutes. This is it, first Gusto meal. Looks very good, smells nice. Looks like a big portion. It's nice, tastes fresh. Good bit of veg in there as well. Tastes quite cheesy, because there's quite a lot of cheese in it. This whole packet was put in. It's good, I'm happy with this so far. And very, very easy to make. Literally took me a few seconds, as you saw in the video. That's day number one. Let's check out day number two. Are you feeling like a dead hopper in the kitchen? Then flip your wig make you and the dish in your life a humdinger of a meal. Open your peepers and get off your keister, because Gusto has got you covered in the kitchen. Job done, and not a moment to spare. Meal two of the Gusto experiment is on the table. This was from the festive flavors range, and we made this. 10 minute jeweled chicken, pistachio, and cranberry, cranberry pilaf. It says it takes 10 minutes to make, and I can vouch for that because 
10 minutes ago, I was sitting on the sofa doing a bit of video editing and totally forgot what the time was. And I knew Joe finished at half seven, so I had to, you know, put the 10 minutes to the test. And it really did take 10 minutes. Very, very fast meal to make. I don't know about the combination of cranberries and pistachios and spinach and chicken, but we'll give it a go. Mmm, that's good. That's actually better than yesterday's, don't you think? It's got a hint of curry about it. It's something that I wouldn't have tried in my normal life if I hadn't done this Gusto thing. So, so far, Gusto's doing very well. So that's two meals done. Let's go on to meal number three. It's day three of our Gusto experiment. I have got a confession to make. I just finished cooking it and I was like, oh, the meal's done. Oh, forgot to film. What I have made is this, which is a Cajun chicken, spicy Cajun chicken linguine. 20 minutes to make, it was dead easy. It looks really tasty. Lots of spices went into this one, which was quite impressive. Although I did notice one thing, and that was for tomorrow's meal, we've got chicken again, and they've only sent us two packets of chicken instead of three, which isn't ideal. So gusto people, if you're watching this, you owe me some chicken. Let's give this a try. So Cajun chicken linguine with peppers, there's peppers, red onion, and lots of spices in here as well. This is linguine pasta as well, which looks really good, really fresh. Let's give it a try. Very nice, actually. It's got a real kick to it, but really nice. I would say this is my favorite one so far. And as you can see, by the way, we have got the tree up now. Uh, there is a vlog out, which I will link below. One meal to go, which I am gonna have to go and buy some chicken for. And here we go, the final gusto meal of the week. One pot pulled chicken cacciatore. Don't know if I've said that right. With chia batter bread as well. It should look a little bit like that uh, when we're done. Uh, it says it takes 45 minutes to get this one cooked. I ain't got time for that. Don't know about you. If you've got 45 minutes to cook it, then you go ahead. I haven't got time for that. So all I'm gonna do is click my fingers. And just like that, the meal appears right in front of you, can beat with a chia batter roll. It's lovely. I've grabbed myself a spoon as well with this one because it has got almost like a soupy sort of consistency to it. Now, in all seriousness, this one did take a little bit longer. It took 45 minutes to cook because you need to let it sort of marinate with the chicken and make sure the chicken's obviously cooked through. I've got some boneless chicken thighs. The recipe says that you use boned ones, which they do give you. Obviously my box didn't have the chicken thighs in. So I will be complaining. I will be docking a point for Gusto for that one. This is gonna be a nice way to finish my Gusto week. I'll give it a little try. Flavour is lovely, very tomatoey, very Mediterranean. And I think the idea is that you have it with the bread. Mmm, very good. If you're gonna eat this meal, don't wear white, because if you get a drop on yourself, it will show, um, unless I spill it on this bit. But it's unlikely that I'm gonna spill sauce up here. So comparing this to HelloFresh, pretty much the same to be honest, except for HelloFresh gives you five meals for the week instead of four. However, theirs was more expensive, so you do pay for that extra meal. HelloFresh also did turn up on time and was placed outside my door rather than four floors down outside a neighbor's front door. So in that sense, HelloFresh was better there. But I gotta say the meals were about the same. Good variety, lots of different flavors, not just the normal sort of things that you would eat at home. In fact, I'd say Gusto's meals were even more random. It's gonna go cold, so I'm gonna make this quick. The, the way that the Gusto packaged the meals up was a bit odd. They just sort of slung all the ingredients in the box. Um, HelloFresh put them in the brown bags, which I found really helpful. Each day I knew exactly what I was cooking. But with Gusto, you kind of have to look through, find the right ingredients, put them in a little pile, check them off against it. So I found it a bit more time consuming, but I've got to say for the value uh, for money, you know, I, like I say, only with the discount code, I paid about 17, 18 pounds. You can't complain. I've had four really nice meals, different types of things to what I would normally eat. I've really enjoyed this experiment. I hope you've really enjoyed this video. Give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel if you are new. More of these types of videos probably coming your way soon because you'll seem to enjoy them. See you soon. I don't know why I did the double salute, but see you soon. Take care. Bye-bye.